Joe, Bill, Matt and Tom are car wash owners in a relatively small town. To compete with one another, they have to continuously struggle, from investing in their business so as to provide a better service to lowering prices. Customers are happy, but the four business owners, well, less so, in light of the fact that competition affects their profit margins. That's why, let's say, monopolies are so attractive. One day, Joe convinces his three rivals to pay him a visit and shares an idea with them. That, hey, any of them would love to be in a monopoly situation, but since that is not possible, why not settle for the next best thing, forming a cartel? Think of cartels as a specific type of oligopoly, where entities which normally compete with one another reach agreements with respect to fixing prices, setting mutually acceptable production targets, synchronizing their marketing campaigns, and generally speaking, cooperating so as to 1. Be more profitable compared to the competition scenario. 2. No longer have to spend as much time and energy innovating. 3. Make it hard for new businesses to appear, with the cartel making economies of scale work in its favor, and so on. Examples include anything from infamous drug cartels to, as strange as it may seem, the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, or OPEC. In many countries such as the US, cartels violate so-called antitrust laws and are therefore illegal, with notable exceptions such as OPEC, which is protected by foreign trade laws despite congressional attempts to punish it. All in all, the cons associated with cartels primarily revolve around potential legal consequences, yet in quite a few cases, market participants decide to take their chances because in their opinion, the pros outweigh them.